Hi friends, welcome back. I'm Natasha and in this video I'll be sharing with you all of the components that you'll need to build your LED light up bike helmet project. There are three main components to this project and a group of accessories that I'll share with you too. So the first big thing is our LEDs. LEDs come on a strip like this and these particular LEDs we refer to as NeoPixels. NeoPixels are a brand name by a company called Adafruit, but even if you see a project that has LEDs that aren't from Adafruit, a lot of times people will refer to them as NeoPixels because it just sounds better than WS2812B LEDs, right? Yeah, so much easier. NeoPixels. And these particular NeoPixels have these alligator clips stuck on the end of them. This is going to make it really easy to connect it to our next big component, which is a micro bit. Micro bit is a microcontroller. So basically a microcontroller is a very small computer that allows you to program it to do one specific thing. And in this case, our one specific thing is to program a string of flashy fun NeoPixel lights. You might have heard other name brands like Arduino or Raspberry Pi. My first iteration of this project was actually using Arduino, so I'll put a link in the description if you want to check out that version. I chose Microbit as the microcontroller for this project because it has a lot of stuff built into it, and most importantly, it has a built-in radio. That's going to come in really handy when you want to create a remote control for your helmet lights or other lights that you put on your bike, and you can make a controller that controls you and your friends. How cool is that? I'll be showing you how to program the radio in a later video, so stay tuned. And basically what it looks like is a little circuit board. So you'll get it in this little bag. The micro bits have these two buttons. They have many LEDs in the center, and then they have these things along the bottom called pins. So we have pin zero, pin one, pin two, three V, which stands for three volts, and GND that stands for ground. So we'll be connecting to these pins. The other thing to note is Microbit has two versions. This is version two and this is version one. Version one has a colored logo and version two has a gold logo. So that makes it easy to tell them apart. Either of these works for this project, but V2 does have a stronger radio. So if you haven't purchased one yet, try to look for a V2. But if all you can get is a V1 or you already have one, this will work just fine. If you get the starter pack with the micro bit, it also comes with a battery pack and batteries. Now these batteries aren't going to be enough to power the NeoPixel project that we want to create. But if you decide to make a remote, for example, you could use the batteries for the remote micro bit. And it also comes with a USB cable. Now this is handy because we need to connect our micro bit to a computer to code. And if your computer only uses USB-C, don't forget a dongle so that you can connect it. We have our LEDs to go blinky. We have our micro bit to be our brain. Now we need a power source. We talked about the batteries that come in the kit not being enough, so what is? What I recommend is getting a LiPo battery that's at least 500 milliamp hours. They come in all sorts of sizes and basically the larger the capacity, the more expensive and the larger the size of the battery, the physical size is. This project is recommended for adults because although these batteries are generally safe, I want you to make an informed decision. I'll put some information about battery safety in the comments. And if you know of any great battery safety resources, please share that in the comments as well. When we're looking at batteries, a red wire indicates power and a black wire indicates ground. Now it's written on the micro bit here, three volts is on the left side when you're holding it upside down like this. And there's a little ridge in the connector to only make it go in one direction. I have a link to this battery and other reliable batteries for this project in the description. But if you already have a battery or you're shopping somewhere else, make sure that the polarity is correct. Okay, so now we have our three main components, our LEDs, our micro bit, our battery, and we need a few extra accessories to make this a complete project. First off, this is a rechargeable battery, which is great. You're gonna buy this and you're gonna keep using it for a very long time, but that means that you need a charger. And the charger looks something like this. The battery plugs into this end and the USB cable, actually the one that comes with your micro bit also works for the battery charger. You can plug this into your phone charger or any USB to charge up your little battery there. So now we have a way of not only powering our project, but continuing to charge it. 
A case is a great thing to use with microbit because it allows you to connect things to the case and not ruin the microbit itself. There are many cases available. Make sure you're purchasing a case that's for V1 or V2, depending on what you have. For our project, I recommend using Velcro dots or squares to connect the micro bit to your helmet. So that'll give you a little spot in the back to connect the Velcro to. Some helmets have holes like this. Using a Velcro cable tie is an easy way to connect the strip to the helmet. But if you have a helmet that's smooth all around, you could use some mounting tape to connect the LED strip around the helmet too. Think about how you will connect your LED strip to your helmet when you're buying your supplies for this project. And that's it for the components of this project. So we have our NeoPixel LEDs with our easy to connect alligator clip connector. We have our micro bit brain with a case so that we can easily connect it to our helmet. We have our LiPo battery with a charger so that we can recharge it. And we have some way of connecting our components to our helmet, be it Velcro or some other type of mounting tape. I do have one thing to show you before you go though. Remember when I was talking about how you can use two micro bits to communicate over radio? Well, I found this adorable little kit here. This turns the micro bit into a watch. This doesn't come with a micro bit though, so buy a second micro bit if you want to use this. But then you can control not only your helmet, but everyone's helmet! In the next video, I'll go over how to connect all of these components together, including some alternatives for connecting the NeoPixels to the micro bit. Oh, did you notice my super cool helmet? Well, that's it for now. I hope this video gave you a better understanding of the components that you'll need to create this project. And as always, remember, this is a community, not a class. So share what you know in the comments, ask for what you need, and you can always reach out on Discord or on the Element 14 community. I'll see you there.